Good morning, good morning, guys, and a welcome, welcome to the show. <clears throat> it is time for us to leave this truck stop and uh, start heading towards our delivery. Yeah, it's about 22 after uh, nine o'clock local time, 8:22 Central time, and. Uh, you see right here we have lots of parking right I mean it was a little fuller last night but there was tons of parking in here and I even got front row parking I guess somebody had pulled out already and uh, <clears throat> I was able to just pull right through there and there was a bunch of spots right here too and it looked like they uh, either never filled or uh, some of the guys have left already I'm sure but yeah there was plenty of parking right here last night <clears throat> but across the street there was not a single parking spot except for all the uh, paying parking spots they were all uh, all still available <clears throat> but I wasn't about to uh, pay for a parking lot no way <clears throat> I know they have some parking there too but that's his private property so I'm assuming that's for this company over here cold storage right here yeah, jukebox might go here sometimes. That's the first time I've seen a cold storage sign. <laughs> yeah, so jukebox might be uh, actually sometimes maybe going here. Who knows? <clears throat> but yeah, so uh, I didn't want to spend that 15 bucks or whatever to park there. I said, nah, I ain't doing it. <clears throat> I know it looks like it's a little bit dark on the screen, but if we get sun sunshine later or usually throughout the day it gets a little bit brighter and uh, then that filter is perfect right <clears throat> and you know a little bit darker doesn't hurt either right? Mile. Turn right on Industrial but Avenue. this way you can see the sky really really nice the, the clouds and everything I've noticed since I've been using this filter the clouds in the sky just looks amazing amazing I really, really enjoy having these filters, that's for sure. They are worth every feet, penny. Turn right on Industrial Avenue. Although these are not the super expensive ones, <clears throat> they tend to scratch up a little bit easily, I think, from the looks of things. And they also attract the dust very easily, so I, I'm having a hard time keeping them clean, but we're managing. We're managing. Alright, we got a stop sign here, so we always got to make sure we stop, right? Ah, yeah. So let's go make our delivery, guys. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you guys sticking around with me and watching my whole show. Just finished doing my delivery, guys, and I know my uh, GPS for some odd reason doesn't want me going down this road. I don't get it, but once I turn on it the way I want to go then it's fine and it says okay no problem but for some odd reason it just doesn't want to route me through this road but we made it we made our delivery in a half mile turn now left it's, on uh, South Washington Street US 127 basically time to go down to our reload location which we're about 86 miles away <clears throat> and then uh, hopefully we can get reloaded real quick should be there at two o'clock the uh, latest I can be there is three so should have no problem getting there on time I think don't get me wrong but I think I should have no problem yeah, getting there turn left on South on Washington time. Street US 127 yeah, that's right so let's go ahead and uh, hammer down though that way as you guys can see it's drizzling right now oh yeah we just got the green light so Let's see if we can uh, also make our turn here before we get a, an orange reddish light. <laughs> oh, it just turned orange, but we just made it. There we go. That's what I was worried about. <clears throat> but anyways, Continue on this road. we got it. Miles. We got it. Oh, that's an oversize, all right. I know what he's all in. <laughs> anyways. Limit reduced to head. We got here at 10.30 this after this morning and uh, our appointment was set for 11 and there was another truck actually in there. At first I was told that was like an off-site warehouse but it really wasn't. There was people there. 
So I could have gone there a little earlier and gotten offloaded possibly, maybe even gotten there before that other guy got there, right? <clears throat> All right. I guess this four-wheeler is deciding to go in there. All right. <clears throat> Anyways, we done it. We done it. We made our delivery. Now we got 86 miles to go and uh, hopefully they'll get us loaded real quick and then I'll probably be doing a reset tomorrow. That's pretty much uh, what I'm thinking of doing because, uh, well, let's face it, tomorrow I don't get any hours back. I got one minute back, that's it. <laughs> so that ain't going to get me very far. <laughs> but I came through this way here earlier too. And there is some gorgeous, gorgeous, old classic homes up here, right? So I want to try and leave the camera on a little bit here and hopefully you guys get to see them. You start to see them here already. Should be anyways. Yeah, I like that. I, I was on the phone with Jukebox earlier when I came through here, so that's why I didn't record it earlier. And I was telling Jukebox, I said, this town must be... Uh, you know, probably from the late 1800s that uh, wouldn't surprise me anyways that these homes have been here. I mean, look at some of these homes, the style of homes and stuff like that. Okay, well, no, it says 35. My GPS is telling me it's 25 up here. It's 25 down there. I see the sign up there, but, but yeah, so just looking at some of these old homes, to me, it looks like it's been uh, this town has been up here for a very long time. Although some of these houses, they look like they've been redone, but even that still looks very, very nice. I enjoy that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and continue on cruising along here and let's try and get through this town because we got a couple of more traffic lights and then we'll be out of town. This is basically downtown, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Just coming into Dayton, Ohio area, guys. We are only about six miles away from uh, getting to our uh, pickup location. So, yeah, we should be there about a uh, quarter to two, I want to say, roughly. Give or take, maybe a little bit before that. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I'm gonna be there a little bit sooner than I originally thought, but that's good. I was giving her pretty good too, because speed limit up here is 65. Earlier it was 70, right? So it's pretty good speed limits up here, so we hammer down. Yeah. That's right, although now it's raining. I don't really like that, but oh well. What can I say? We're going to be expecting to get this for the next uh, two days, I guess. Today and tomorrow, they're expecting rain. Now I got to exit up here and start heading towards my customer. We got exactly five miles remaining. So, let's see what happens, how long it's going to take them to get me loaded there. I was talking to my friend yesterday and he was saying that uh, sometimes we just do a trailer switch over there so that would be even nicer. That would actually be really, really nice. I would really like that. In three miles, take exit but, to OH 25, anyways, uh, North Dixie Highway. Let's go ahead and get on down there and uh, find out, right? We'll see. If we do a trailer switch or a life load. Hey, hey guys, here we are. I hope I'm lit up real nicely here. I'm back in the truck uh, and uh, man oh man I'm telling you it took a very long time to uh, get uh, loaded there at my customer my GoPro is a little bit crooked there but anyways uh, we as, as you guys saw right we got down to our customer uh, about 20 minutes or quarter to two o'clock I didn't get out of there till 5.30 in the afternoon. It's like, holy moly, it took forever to get loaded. So then I went down here, uh, just down the road, 13 miles or something like that, to the uh, to the Flying Hook. And uh, Flying J, as you guys would like to say it, or would say it, right? So now I went in here and I finally got around to taking me a shower. I was gonna take a shower the other day, but then 
I don't think I even mentioned it and then Toronto I was gonna take a shower remember guys I was saying that and then uh, it, it was you know a lineup waiting for showers right so and it's almost always like that over there so uh, I decided nah I, I better get going down to my customer and luckily that I did because by the time I hooked up to my trailer got down there and and uh, got you know got to the customer was five to one and I needed to be there for one o'clock right so good thing I abandoned my idea for taking a shower and then uh, so the rest of the day yesterday I never got around to uh, to getting my shower done right and all day today I pretty much spent my time uh, going over there to the customer delivering the load which took a little bit of time and then uh, I get down here to my uh, reload and it took all afternoon pretty much and so by the time I finally left there it's dark outside so I ain't gonna be able to show you nothing really so and it's raining it's supposed to be raining all day today and tomorrow so I don't know what we're exactly gonna be doing we're supposed to be meeting up with jukebox tomorrow we'll see exactly how that goes or if it actually will happen I think it will happen but we'll see but now I'm all good I finally took a shower and I'm getting ready to start working on my videos and uh, also start working on building my website back up I uh, you know for the last little while it's been quite hectic so I didn't get around to doing it and so now I'm gonna be taking a reset here so tomorrow it might be a little different of a video because I'll be sitting here all day so I don't know it's raining right what am I going to show you right so we'll see exactly what we come up with I really hope that we can meet up with jukebox and go into town or something like that and you know maybe show you something a little bit right but anyways uh, that's pretty much all I got to say for right now so let's get busy working on my website here and uh, get all of that work uh, set up again hopefully we can master it again <laughs> and uh other than that so let's go ahead and get out of here i appreciate you guys watching my short little vlog here anyways so have a great day everybody and we'll see you on the next one